God bless everybody. I'm here with Roland. Um, I noticed he was walking a little, a little slow. We work out at the same gym, and so I asked him, you know, did he have some pain? And he told me he had some extreme pain in both of his knees. His right knee was at a level six out of ten, and his left knee, he said, was maxed at ten. Very painful. We just did a quick prayer. Uh, what number would you say the pain is at now? As you as you walk around, bend it a little uh, bit. Two. Test, a two. Yeah, yeah. On both of them. Yeah, a two to one, yeah. A two to a one, amen. Like, it's like it's just disappearing. Right it's now. disappearing right now. See, we prayed, right? And then he gave us permission to record the next prayer to get it down to a zero. Um, right before we started filming, I asked him where it was at, and it was about a four. Is that right? Yeah. And now as we're as, as some few seconds and minutes are going by, the, the pain is continuing to dissipate. And so I'm going to say another prayer. And... Just believe that the Lord will take this down to a zero so this man can be healed and, and draw closer to God. God heals us. He's healing you right now on the spot because he loves you, Roland, because he cares about every single detail of your life. This this could be the smallest miracle that he does in your life, right? I start with the physical stuff because you can feel that, and it's tangible, and, and it shows that God is real. He is alive. He's here right now, and, and that's his way to show you I love you. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter of anything, He loves you the same regardless, right? The Bible says, while we were His enemies, He still loved us and died for us. And so, I'm going to pray. I believe God is going to heal you. And then I'd like to exchange contact information with you and, and stay in touch. I teach a Bible study on Wednesday, tomorrow, 8 p.m., um, near Forest Hill in Davis. And so, if you're free, I'd love for you to join us. It's 8 p.m. 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. It's not very long. The actual class is only, teaching is only 20 minutes. We worship for 15 minutes. The teaching is 20 minutes. And then we pray for anybody that needs prayer. And then we enjoy some refreshments together, fellowship, get to know each other a little bit more. And just begin to lock arms as we get closer to God. Because this isn't an accident, right? It's not an accident that we met and that we're here talking right now at all. God loves you and that's what he wants to show you. So let me pray again. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I glorify you. I thank you for what you're doing, what you've already done, Lord. You are amazing and you are worthy to be praised. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command this knee to be completely healed and restructured. Be healed now in Jesus' name. I command this other knee to be completely healed right now in Jesus' name. Pain leave, last thing go now. I command all pain to completely leave these legs. I pray a blessing of health from the top of Roland's head to the bottom of his feet. All pain, all injury, any spirits of sickness, spirits of infirmity, I command you to leave right now. Any evil spirits that would want to attack his life in any way, I command to leave right now. Hallelujah. God is good. Pain leave now. Any evil spirits, I command you to leave right now. Now let me ask you, are you dealing with anything like depression, loneliness, sadness, anything like that? Uh, legal stuff. You got some legal stuff going on. Okay, so let's pray about that real quick. <laughs> Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you show your mighty hand in Roland's legal affairs, Lord. That you show him favor. The same way you're showing him favor physically, we know you can do it legally, spiritually. I pray a blessing over Roland emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, Lord, in every single realm of his life, in his relationships, with his family, with others, Lord. Bless him in every realm of life. Wow, God is really working right here, man. I feel the presence of God heavily. Now, let's take a little walk. Let's test this out. Your walk is definitely improved. Yeah. Because you were really, you know, yeah. in pain as I saw you coming down the parking lot. What I'm thinking is that I might end up throwing it out again somehow because they're like really weak. Yeah. But well, they, let's pray for they strength. Feel good. They feel good. <laughs> okay, because this is what I want you to do, right? We have to, this is, this is about faith, right? Okay. God is doing it. But if you start letting the enemy or your own mind bring doubt in, I'm thinking I'm going to throw them out because they're weak. You know, you can, you can block and get rid of your own blessing. So, so you see God is working. You were at a 10 in the one knee especially. Oh, yeah. And it's down to a what now? A one, right? That's, I mean, that's incredible. This is a matter of seconds or minutes. So that's, mir that's miraculous, right? So we want to hold on to that by believing what God just did. This isn't about, you know, uh, 
mind over matter, positive vibes or energy. This is not about any of that. This is the Holy Spirit of God entering into your body and healing you. And so we want to hold on to faith. And instead of, words are powerful. So we don't want to declare, I think my knees are going to give out, you know, because they're weak. We want to declare, wow, God has healed me. Thank you, Lord, for my perfect health. Thank you for renewing my knees. My knees are strong, right? I pray strength to enter into these knees. Strength to enter into these knees to get rid of any doubt that they might give out. Strength enter in right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me ask you this before I let you go handle your business. Do you want to repeat a prayer after me? Asking God to show up and start to, you know, take charge of, of what you need help with in life. Uh, renounce any agreement that we made directly or indirectly with the enemy, with our flesh, with the world. Make a new agreement with Jesus Christ and ask him to show up and uh, and recognize him as the Lord and, and, and declare that you believe that God raised him from the dead. Would you be willing to do that? Or is, and, and ask God to step in? Okay, so repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. thank you for my life. Thank you. Thank you for healing my knees. I love you, Lord. I know that my sin separates me from you. Please forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for your forgiveness. I receive it in faith. I know that Jesus Christ is my Lord. And that you raised him from the dead. Right here and now. I break every agreement with the world, every agreement with my flesh, and every agreement with the enemy. Holy Spirit, please enter into me now. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations, brother. The, 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 the Bible says very clearly that when we make that declaration and make that new agreement with God, that all the angels and the hosts of heaven are celebrating over your life right now. Now, let me ask you this. You're kind of sighing like a good sigh, right? Did you feel anything as we prayed just now? What, what, what would you describe it as if you could describe it? Did that when, like when you get baptized before, yes. you, before you go to church. Now, did you, uh, did you feel that when you asked the Holy Spirit to come into you? Was that when you felt it? That's what I felt about. That's quite literally what happened. Like it was hollow. Yeah. 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 So, so I mean, this, we're not just speaking words into the air. We're speaking to the Almighty Creator of everything. And when you ask the Holy Spirit to come in, the Holy Spirit literally entered in and even allowed you to feel that happen physically which is an amazing and beautiful thing. I'm gonna give you my information, all right? Because this is just the beginning of a lot of beautiful things. And this isn't about healing you and blessing you and filling you with the Holy Spirit. And then, you know, God bless you and see you later. You know, whether you come to the Bible study or not, man, I wanna lock arms with you. Sit down, talk, have some coffee, have a meal or something, right? And I mean, I, I, I come from homelessness, addiction, alcoholism, you know, drugs. I don't think there's a drug under the sun that I haven't done, right? But now I'm healthy, happy, whole, blessed by God. I'm a good father to my children. I run my own business from home, right? God has done all of this. He's restored me. And the Bible says he'll redeem the years. He redeemed all those years that I wasted and put me on top. And now is allowing me to be a blessing to others, right? And so I'm going to lock arms with you, Roland. I want to walk this thing out day by day, right? And continue to grow closer and closer to God. The Bible says that when we draw closer to God, God draws closer to us, and that's what's going on right now. So I love you, man. I'm so happy for you. God bless you. Thank you for allowing us Thank to record <laughs> the, the miracle, right? If you guys need prayer, reach out, man. There's nothing realer in the world than what you just witnessed, and it can happen for you the same way. There's nothing special about me. I'm a, I'm a person just like you're a person. The, what's special is God Almighty. So God bless you. Reach out for prayer. I love you all. Okay, so um, I was just speaking to Roland a little bit more, and you know, when we recorded the video, I didn't really give him a chance 
to to speak too much i didn't ask him the background how long he's been dealing with these uh knee issues and stuff like that so i just wanted to give him a chance um because he said he's feeling really good, right? So I wanted to give him the chance to express it on his own. I mean, look at this smile. That was not on his face 10 minutes ago. So just whatever's on your heart, whatever you want to share, um, go right ahead. Hi, I'm Roland. And uh, I've, been, I've been down, I'm working a part-time job off and on down in the Keys. And I had a mishap about five months ago where I went two different directions and just wiped out my left knee and my right knee was just sort of like hanging there. So I've uh, been staggered around here and I ran into Johanna here Roman and, and he offered me a prayer and I accepted it and believe me I tell you what man my knees are like almost brand new <laughs> almost brand new <laughs> hallelujah and I am not, I'm just totally touched by this guy he's got me in tears up God is amazing <laughs> to God be the glory God to do that man I'm happy man I feel really good about that amen so about five months ago um you you moved you headed in two different yeah. directions with one body right <laughs> and you wiped that knee out i'm still working a part-time job at the labor oh, my boss is like yeah. you know hey i got something to do but i can do it on my own so i'm like taking time out but yeah. i still work the labor on and i'm telling you what i do the work but believe me i'm in pain and like for eight hours i'm like oh good god yeah that's <laughs> rough and now uh, what about now after god has entered into the situation uh, Man, I tell you what, it's been beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I really want to go walk. <laughs> yeah. Because they feel good. I can, like, you know, I can lift them up. You know? It like, feels good. I just, like, you know, they're not so, you know, I'm starting to kick them. Starting bit. to kick them. Oh, now, were you able to I do that before? I couldn't do that. Oh, last night, I was soaking them in hot water, and today I was screaming, help me, Lord. <laughs> screaming, help me, Lord. Literally? Yeah, well. Well, well he answered your prayer. <laughs> And, uh, and I'm so happy that he did, man. And like yeah. I said, I truly believe that this could be the smallest thing that he does for you in your life. The Bible says that he'll redeem the years. Any years we've wasted, we've thrown away, you know what I mean? He can restore it just like he restored those knees. I've seen God replace organs in people. So I don't think he's just taking the pain away. I think he's restored the knees, the cartilage, the, the, the bone that needed to be restored. So praise God. Um, thank you so much. For appreciate sharing, it. for I sharing with yeah, us, you're, you're very I'm welcome, you man. <laughs> and I hope to see you tomorrow at the at the yeah, at the fellowship at the, at the house. Fellowship, yeah. Reach out for prayer, man. God is good. We just want to testify to His mighty works. I'll, I'll give you a call in order to get the directions squared after work tomorrow. So. Beautiful, perfect. Yeah. Thank God you bless everybody. Thank you.